Hey guys, it's Sienna Sinclair here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to tips for sciatica pain. I know a lot of us are sitting a lot more recently with what's going on and I'm a sitter too just in my normal everyday life because I sit at a desk on my couch I work from home so I'm constantly sitting down and like this on my computer on my phone you know uploading to YouTube to Instagram for those who sit a lot <laughs> and write blogs and are Instagram girls I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from are just office desk workers so I wanted to do a video to focus on sciatica pain because it's something that I deal with on a daily basis and I've learned ways to overcome it. So for me, it probably started three to five years ago. I honestly can't remember when it started because it just happened and it's almost kind of like a normal part of day in my life. And recently, I think within the past year or so, it got to the point to where it was just interfering with my everyday life and I thought to myself, well, I can either sit on the couch and take pain pills or I can actually get up and do something about it. And I decided to get up and do something about it. And that was to change the way that my activities every day. So for my normal activities, it was get up, maybe you know do a workout and then sit at my desk all day long into the evening because I own a business and it's just very easy for me to get lost into my work and sit on the couch all day <laughs> not being lazy I'm just like busy working away for many of you you know what I'm talking about so I had to change my habit and I decided that I would start getting up earlier so that I could focus on my sciatica pain and for me, for my routine for getting up earlier and focusing on my sciatica pain, I decided that I need to do walks every day. So I got up and I started doing 30 minute walks. It was, it's not strenuous, it's strenuous. <laughs> it's not meant for a workout, it's meant more for to get my legs moving and just to get the blood flow going. So it's all up to you whether you wanna get out and be you know, more of a, a workout, or as I said, for me, it's just moving my legs. And then I decided that along with my walk, so my days for my sciatic pain are actually from nine to 12, that I do something for myself, and then at 12, I focus on work. So for three hours, I dedicate to myself, getting ready, eating breakfast, and my sciatica. And I know that seems like a lot, but it's really not when it comes to taking care of yourself and also for someone who sits at a desk 15 hours, three hours is really not a lot to um, focus on yourself. And each day I will either go get a massage because literally one block from my house is a massage, is a Thai massage place and it's $30 for me to, I go for a walk, I walk over there and I get a quick massage and they help with my leg pain, some of my neck and back pain. And then also throughout the week, I will alternate, I'll do massage, I'll go to a chiropractor, I will go to maybe um, a needling place, I can't think of it right now, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, and also um, helping someone to stretch me, because sometimes you know we do yoga, we do stretching, but there's nothing like it when someone stretches you. So these are changes I made, so it's not every day I get a massage, I alternate, like one day massage, one day um, stretching um, by somebody else. And then I also make sure I walk every day. And then if I'm not getting stretched by somebody else, part of my routine is also coming back and um, stretching myself. So get up, I walk, go do something outside, you know, massage, come back and do some stretching. And then throughout the day, I'll focus on my workout. But my workout has nothing to do with my sciatica. So for the first three hours, I focus on myself and my sciatica. And it's all what you wanna do. It doesn't, if you don't have that much time, just get up and walk for 10 minutes or walk for 10 minutes in the morning, walk for 10 minutes during your lunch break, you know, or 30 minutes to, you know, 15 minutes there and 15 minutes back. And then when you get home, go for a quick walk. It's all about just getting your legs up and moving 
because sitting causes, you know, you're sitting on your bute and that's, as you know, for sciatica sufferers, you know, it gets tight and it's that nerve, which is, you know, how, um, you know, our problems, <laughs> I'm not an expert or anything, but I don't know what everything's called, but for sciatica sufferers, you know what I'm talking about. So those are just one thing that I do for walking. Um, for stretching, another thing that I, I'm going to show you some stretches really quick that I've learned from physical therapy because I am in physical therapy for my sciatica just to learn stretches and also I just love being stretched and you know it helps me to be more flexible just especially you know as you age and you know just not injuring yourself so I'll show you some stretches that they taught me for sciatica pain really quick so a quick one or two that are super easy that they taught me I'm sure many of you know this one, but it's just, you know, leg up like this. I'm gonna lay back. And it's just pulling your left leg with your left hand and pushing with your right hand on your right leg and pulling it into your chest. And holding it, you know, you can do this, hold it for 30 seconds, three times. I'm just gonna do it really quick to show you and then switching. And then another one that I love, and you can do this when you're sitting on your couch, when you're at work, in the morning, in the evening. Just kind of do this throughout the day, especially if you suffer daily or you, your sciatica starts to act up. For this one, you go leg up. Um, start down here, you flex your foot, and you come up, and then go down. Just watch my foot movement. So, as you can see, my foot changes as I go up and down. Okay. And then you do that 10 times. Again, this is super easy to do, especially if you're sitting on the couch. Just lay back and do this. And then you just do it on the other foot. And then two other stretches that I love, um, just where you sit kind of pretzel-like, <laughs> and it's not cross leg, but it's just like you're like a little pretzel, all twisted up, and you come forward. And I love this stretch because it really hits that area right here where your sciatica is really acting up on your bootay, and you just come forward. And if it's really tight, you're gonna feel this one a lot. And then I like to come up and I like to go left and right. The reason why I like to do the three different areas is because it hits different areas in the leg as you'll soon find out. So then we go left. And then we're going to go right. And if you can't go down as far as I can, you can just go down this far if that's what feels comfortable for you. You don't want to hurt yourself or create more pain for yourself. And also you can use a block or a book or anything that, you know, helps you whether, you know, you have a block right here and you can only go down this far and then you just switch. And we do the same thing. And come up. And again, you can hold these longer. I'm just showing you how to do them quickly for the video, but definitely hold them, you know, as long as you want or as comfortable as you are. And then another favorite one of mine, this one's 
can be a little bit more difficult and maybe a little bit more painful for some people. And I don't mean painful as in like, oh my gosh, that hurts so bad, but maybe a little bit more discomfort because a lot of us are really tight in here. Um, just from, you know, we're people that, you know, we move forward. We don't really do a lot of this sideways left and right and, you know, stretching our, opening our legs like this. So we're really tight in here and this really helps to open up this area. But the proper way to do this is you have your right leg bent like this and your left heel goes on top of your right knee and vice versa for this area. And they need to stay this way. They can't move. If they move, it changes the, um, the stretch. So try as hard as you can. Some people may only get to like right here. They won't build. But if you can push your leg, you can also put a block underneath there if you need to. You can put a block in front of you for doing different positions. I'll just show you really quick. So this is what I mean by the block. So if you can only go this far and this helps to stretch you, then just go this far. If you can go like this, remember, keep your feet the way they are. When you start to move forward, sometimes it'll shift, but again, keep it the way it is because if it moves, <laughs> It changes everything. And then also, if you can't go down all the way, just put your block right here. This is fine also. This is fine. However comfortable you are. If you can, go down all the way. Remember, keep your feet exactly the way they are. And just come forward. And come up. Now this one, it's really good for in here, but you can also feel it in the back. And I feel it's not an exercise that you see for sciatica pain. It's an exercise, it's a stretch I already do, but I've noticed that it definitely helps with my sciatica pain. It just really gets a good stretch right in this area, like your whole leg up here. And then do the same over here and just come forward again if you can. If you can only go here, again, fine. And I can't stress how important that your legs stay the way they are. If your leg starts to come in, then it becomes a different stretch and you don't get the feeling, the same stretch. You have to have your heel to your knees on both sides. It has to be that way or else it just you just lose the stretch, I promise you. If you have it the right way, you'll know if you have it the right way. <laughs> okay, so those are the four stretches that are really good for sciatica. And also, you know, getting a massage. And if you're someone who can't get a massage or, you know, you can't afford it or especially now, where you know you can't just go to massage parlor or call someone up and say hey come massage me on an app you can do two other ways to get a massage and one is this ball it's very hard and this right here so i'm going to show you two ways to give yourself a massage for sciatica pain so we will start with this first And these are things I'm not making up. These were taught in my physical therapy class for sciatica pain, so doctor approved. <laughs> um, so one thing that they taught me was to kind of have your leg open and you're just kind of moving where you're hitting your left booty cheek and you're getting that sit muscle that you sit on because that's where the sciatica pain really starts to move. It's not a little dance. <laughs> I mean, you can turn it into dance if you want to, <laughs> but just really getting into it. Just like, oh yeah. And you can put on some music and do a little dance to it if you want to. But just, you can really feel it too. Just kind of move around, you know? Go back, go front, <laughs> go back. But yeah, you can definitely, definitely feel it. And then just the same way on the other side. Just make sure you get that muscle and just, you know,
do it. And open up that leg. You know, you really want to get a good balance in there. And you just really, oh, that one I feel a lot more. <laughs> and then back. Ooh, that one I definitely feel. Yeah, that one's a good one. Yeah, I think I got it. <laughs> so just definitely rocking back and forth. Another one because side of it also goes down here. So it starts to move down here is to, you can also do this on a bench, you know, if your arms hurt or you have any pain in your arms, but just to like this and just roll right here. You can also get into that bootay and just roll back. Also get your side. Oh yeah, I definitely feel that. <laughs> but these are things that you can definitely do. For example, if you decide to start a morning routine or maybe an evening routine after work where you go for a walk and then you come back and you do your exercises, you will notice a huge difference, I promise you, because after I decided that I was gonna do something about it, <laughs> and start walking every day and exercising, getting massages, it my sciatica pain lessened a lot. It doesn't mean that it still doesn't come because I'm sitting. It just means that the pain is lessened and I know how to control it a lot better. So now we'll go to our other side. Ooh. And you can also do your um, calves. <laughs> So these are ways to massage your own self and just get in there on your own. And as many of you know, these work amazing. And another thing that my physical therapist taught me is that this, that works great too, but this really helps to just get into certain pressure points. So especially where the sciatica will start here on your bum, you can do this while sitting in your desk or while sitting at home on your couch and just put it underneath, you know, you can do this at work and you know, nobody has to know. And just put it underneath your bum cheek and, or while you're stretching like I am now and just move it around and really get that muscle good. But, or you can just sit on it, just sit on it for a pressure point and have your pain go away. <laughs> and the same thing with your leg. You can do the exact same thing. You know, just kind of get more of a pressure point in your leg. Because both of them, they both help, but they both are very different in the way that they help you. So this is more like all over um, massage and this is just more um, targeted pressure point. They both work exactly the same. And I think incorporating them both is great. Okay. So it covered, you know, walking, um, stretches and massage tips, techniques that you can do at home. And another thing you can do is physical therapy. Like I said, I do my own physical therapy, so you can go and get someone to just kind of help you more with exercises because sciatica is different for everybody. For some people, it's debilitating, like they can't go to work, it's horrible pain. I'm very lucky that it's not that way, but you also don't want to let it get to that point because I'm sure if I didn't take these precautions and do things, it could get to that point. So that's why I'm, you know, trying to do things to help me out in the same with you. And another thing that I do is heat pad because what happens is your, your muscle on your bum, which can help, uh, which can cut off the nerve and, you know, cause your sciatica pain, you know, when you put pressure on it, um, the heating pad helps to, Kind of release the muscle so and also just release the leg so what i like to do and you can do this at work you can do this while driving you can do this at home you can pretty much do this any time of the day you can get um, something for your car 
because this you have to put in your microwave so you can get one in your for your car that you plug into your car adapter and it'll heat up for you or if you're lucky enough to have heated seats then <laughs> there you go but this is great because I just pop it in the microwave and it gets really hot. You don't want it too hot where it's scolding you. But like I said, when you're sitting um, and working at your computer, you know, let's say I'm at a desk and I'm just sitting and the muscle will relax. And also, like I said, when I'm at, on my couch, I can, if my sciatic is really acting up, I'll start with my bone first and then move down to my leg and then move it down to my calf and really get this leg nice and relaxed. So anything with heat, meaning a heat pad, works amazing. And also just taking a hot bath, if you wanna take a hot bath in the morning, when you get back from work, or if you have a hot tub jacuzzi, go for it. That will just overall just help to relax you. Um, heating pads that stick to you can also help. So these are just things that unfortunately as many of you sufferers know, if you have sciatica pain, especially when it's bad, it's a daily thing, especially if you keep sitting. Like if I stop sitting and I just, everything I did was standing, but even people who stand can have sciatica pain. You know, it all depends because there's sometimes that when I sit it hurts and there's times I stand when it hurts. But all depending on how bad it is, you know that it's a daily thing. So we have to do daily stuff. It, it, this needs to, be, to become a part of your daily life. Just as sciatica is a daily part of your life, unfortunately, this needs to become a daily part of your life to help you so that you don't have to be in so much pain or suffer as much. And another thing that I do, and this is only for like last minute result, like if I'm in so much pain and nothing I seem to do is working, I don't suggest this, it's totally up to you or seeing a doctor, but I will take a muscle relaxer and like I said, it's only for when I can't get any relief. A muscle relaxer definitely can help with sciatica pain and what it does for me, I, everyone's different. I take a 10 milligram, but I half it into five because the thing for me <laughs> is the next morning, I feel like a freight train hit me. So definitely don't take it if you have to work the next day or do something. But again, it all depends on you and your body type. Everyone's different. Um, I don't like to take medications, so when I do take it, I feel it a lot more. And I suggest it as last minute, but it does really work. I'll take, you know, five milligram muscle relaxer when I'm going to sleep. And the next morning, honestly, I can have I can be pain free for two for two weeks easily, no problem. But I don't want to like depend on a muscle relaxer. That's how I got to this point. It was like, I can keep taking pain pills, muscle relaxers, but it's not solving the problem. So that's why I decided to like actually get up and do something about it rather than just popping pain pills because I don't like the way they make me feel all loopy. And again, it's just totally up to you. If, if you're happy and that's what works for you because everyone has their own pain level. And for some people, your pain level may be so extreme that you're like, Honey, I don't care what you're saying. I tried all that. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> Muscle relax doesn't work for me. If that's what works for you, great. More power to you. Um, these are just suggestions for people who need some relief and things that have worked for me. But that's it. That's my tips for sciatica pain and for helping you to cope, hopefully. So just come up, you know, sit down and come up with a routine. Decide like what you need to do to focus on getting you better. And that's really what it comes down to. So I, I hope my tips worked. And if you have any other tips, um, please you know put them in the comments below. I'd love to learn what has worked for you so that maybe I can incorporate it and then come up with a new video of more tips. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you get some relief and feel better, especially in these crazy times. Bye guys.